this week, we are going to be working with APIs. You're also going to learn how to use local storage and HTML5 Canvas. So you are going to want to read through uh, the book, but you're going to find more current information in the lecture demo. And that is where you're going to find the information on uh, HTML5 Canvas. And there are three videos at the top um, that basically go through each section with you. Uh, the API section walks through some of the code so you understand what it's doing and you understand how to log the data that gets sent to you so that you can see how the file is formatted because that is going to help you uh, bring in either the XML or the JSON code. So logging the request data that is sent to you and then taking a look at that so that you can pick out what you want to display is pretty important. Uh, so I would definitely watch this uh, API video. Uh, local and session storage is uh, fairly straightforward uh, with HTML5. I don't think you guys are going to have any trouble with that. Uh, HTML5 Canvas um, is kind of fun. Uh, it can be a little confusing to use. Uh, so you might want to watch the video on that as well. And as I said, there are three distinct sections. Uh, I did uh, include some API information from Marvel and NASA. Uh, I also have one called Open Weather Map and Google Charts. So the Google Charts API is free and you don't have to register. And this is actually a live <laughs> Google Chart. So I pulled the uh, API into this document. And this is also a live Google chart. And you can create all sorts of different types of charts. So I did give you a link to that. And a HTML5 storage may come in handy for your games, especially if you uh, want to accumulate scores. So there's local and session storage with HTML5, and then we get into HTML5 Canvas. And this kind of walks you through how to do uh, Canvas, how to draw lines. And then I've got the links to W3 schools, so you can kind of practice. And these are kind of all live. And this is the code I used to get that. And I will say that if you're drawing with HTML5 Canvas, you do need some patience. <laughs> so, um, and how you can kind of view this is your upper left corner is zero, zero, okay? And then it's a matter of, you know, plotting the dimensions on this blank canvas or blank sheet of paper, you can kind of en envision it as. So once you walk through all of that, then you're going to do the programming assignment. And your first task is going to be to create a logo using Canvas. So I don't want you to do this logo. I want you to create your own. And so, um, you know, it can be a series of shapes. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but you should have a a circle or a curved shape, a rectangle and a triangle. Okay, so you can, you know, kind of combine the shapes in however you want. One should be filled in with color. Uh, and you're also gonna wanna have some kind of text in there. So this is what I used to create this. And those little circles you can see in here this is creating those. So that, that's basically just repetitive code and I just changed the location of the circle. And then this is how I did the text. 
Uh, then you're going to create a form that stores four pieces of information that should go in local storage. And then you are going to save your form under a different name and change the local storage to session storage. And I do have examples here for you to take a look at. And then you're going to find and use a simple API. So you can do Marvel Comics, you can do the weather, you can do NASA. If you don't have a lot of time, then you should just do Google Maps. Okay, uh, because sometimes when you are trying to figure out how to use an API, it can chew up a ton of time. So if time is an issue for you, then I would simply do Google Maps. Okay, and um, I have had students do other APIs. They've kind of gone off on their own and that is absolutely okay. However, if I've never used the API, I'm not going to be able to help you decipher it. <laughs> so, so, I mean, it'll take me to probably just as long as you uh, because uh, some of them don't have very good documentation. So if you go off on your own, make sure you go to a site that is well documented. Okay, and you may even want to Google uh, best API uh, sites for beginners. Okay, and then see what you can find. And again, if you don't have a lot of free time, then I would simply do Google Maps. Okay. Uh, so that is the assignment. And uh, you should have been working on your Project One milestone for the last week or two. Uh, and so you need to complete that. And that is the game interface. So the, the requirements for that are that you use HTML5 and CSS. Now, sometimes people wanna get fancy and they want to put JavaScript in there, which is absolutely fine, okay? But you don't have to do that, okay? So um, your first milestone, the directions are here. So it's HTML5 and CSS3. You don't have to do JavaScript or jQuery. So it's basically these two things um, and no bootstrap. You can't use the frameworks for this. So what you have to have is a main page with links to your three games. And then the games, the game pages, I should say, need to be there with a description of each game. You aren't required to have any of the games coded. Okay, so all you have to do is have a description of each game. Uh, you should also have uh, a README text file linked in to your game interface that has an overview of your site and copyright and reproduction information. That is very important. Okay, so again, you need an interface with a menu. You need links to your three game pages. The pages need to be there with a description of your game. And you need the README text file, which is basically got the copyright and reproduction information right in it. Okay, so that is what is required. Um, now, in your HTML, you can add comments that indicate who the audience is, uh, the design, the color scheme, all that, but you do not have to. Okay, that is something that you're going to be doing in your showcase. So that's the milestone. And then uh, you are going to submit a link to that when you're done. And for the showcase, um, you are basically gonna create a video that displays your interface 
and walks through the menu and game pages. So, and again, at this point, the game pages aren't gonna have games. They're just gonna have a description of each game. Uh, there are talking points that you need to cover and they should be in a slideshow. So uh, most people choose PowerPoint for this, but I don't really care if you use the Google slides, you know, whatever kind of slideshow you wanna create is fine. Um, and the talking points are the audience the site's intended for, interactive features that you included in the interface, why you selected the layout and color scheme, why the menu design will enhance the user's experience, and any coding issues that you've encountered so far. When you are done creating your video, you are going to upload the video to uh, our discussion for others to provide feedback. Uh, so for the video, you can use whatever software you are familiar with. And if you are not familiar with any software, you certainly can use Zoom. So I can help you with that if you're not sure of how that works. Okay, so you um, will we'll have to meet outside of my office hours uh, because I'm gonna have to show you how to do record in Zoom. And I can't do that during my office hours. So, um, but I am happy to show you how to use Zoom, okay? Um, and I did do a little example of a game interface. Just, you know, to give you an idea of what I'm looking for. Okay, so uh, those, the project milestone and the mini showcase are also due. So that is another reason why, you know, if you haven't gotten very far on that yet, um, I would, certainly pick Google Charts for your API, because if you haven't gotten far on this milestone, you are simply just not gonna have enough time to burn up hours and hours researching an API. Okay, so that is what you are working on this week. It is kind of a big week. If you run into problems or have questions, please let me know. And I am looking forward to seeing your milestones.